dear how exciting this is for me, darling. Yes. I mean, I just think it's my duty to guide you through your first sexual experience, darling. <laughs> when you know the facts of life. I did... I already tell you the facts of life, didn't I, sweetie? You mean that time you sat on my bed and shook me awake at two o'clock in the morning, stoned out of your brain, and then slurred into my ear, by the way, sweetie, people have it off, then yes, you told me the facts of life. <laughs> I'm surprised. I bet there are a lot of outtakes of you breaking up, all of you breaking up on the set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, more, more so with Jennifer and Joanna. I, I can't because it's so spontaneous what they're doing. I try mm. not to laugh because they've got to do it again and make yeah. the audience yeah. laugh again. So. You mean they don't stick to a, a particular script all the time? You mean they do a bit of another um, Yeah, Jennifer can go on a bit. Yeah. <laughs> you never quite know when she's going to finish. Well, now I get my yeah. line She's the writer, yeah. so yeah. nobody can say anything about it. Yeah. No, I mean, the, the reason we played that, we, oh, I know that there is a, an Ab Fab special coming up shortly, isn't there? Yeah, this week. Two this, oh, is it this week? Yeah, oh, right. It's two part, isn't it? That's right. Wednesday yeah. and Thursday. And is that the last? Is that, is that being, that is so definitely So I've been it. told, I mean, it it was the last when we did the finish the last in the old series, yeah. yeah. Mm. So I don't know. I can't so, say. so how, so no, how no. does this one play in terms of plot and story then? I mean, because we finished up in the old folks' home. Last yes, time. I've been sworn to secrecy. Oh, actually. you can't even no, say anything. No, I'm not allowed to say. All right, isn't that well, boring? Oh, all right. What's interesting about? <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye. <laughs> No, because you're here to talk about faith and future, and what's oh, interesting yeah. is that you're still playing a daughter, as you have done before, of course, because it's not, it's not, it's not a, a new series, to Linda Bellingham, but the complete yeah. opposite. I mean, you're absolutely awful in this one. In what one? In this one, in Faith and the Future. Yeah, what do yeah. you mean? In what Imagine way? Awful. Well, <laughs> what, you mean sort of untalented? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, I mean your character. I mean, sort of she's rude quite, and... Yeah, she's quite obnoxious, but I mean, it's she kind of gives very youthful, naive advice. She doesn't mean to be nasty. She thinks she's being very helpful. Yeah. Um, and she's just very, you know, young, opinionated girl. It's, mm. um, with feminist values. And she's giving her mother all this advice and she's, you know, not doing well for herself at all as far as men are concerned. And it's right. just about two women, you know, from, you know, Living different together. generations, yeah. you know, working well, it all it's out. it's jolly funny. We've got a nice clip. And then we're going to ask you the age-old question when it's over. Is there anything of you in, in her? Oh, right. okay. <laughs> when you're ready. Only I'm shattered. I'll tell you what, I'll disappear for a couple of minutes. That'll give you a chance to get off my bed. <laughs> oh. She said she was away for the night. I'm sorry, Paul. It's all right. I'm used to Hannah interrupt us. <laughs> I'll put the kettle on. Your timing's as good as your manner. Sorry, get out. There isn't room. Paul and I were at it. Oh, at it. How sensitively put. Well, what do you want me to do? Ring the doorbell. You've got a bedroom. Why weren't you in there? Oh, well, I can't just lead him to the bedroom straight away. Why not? Well, we have to take these things step by step. It's about time you tried the long jump. <laughs> right, one, two, three. Is, Is there, there anything? anything there? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's always a bit of something um, mm. in it, all the characters I play, obviously. Cause you, you know, you draw from your own experiences. And I was pretty obnoxious when I was younger. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, between yeah. between ages with... of what and what? Because I was horrible when I was 16. Oh, uh, were you? Horrible. Yeah, horrible. Much horrible. worse than I am now. I went I'm from something. 13 to about now. <laughs> so about 13 to yeah. 20, I was really? a pain in the neck. Yeah. Girls are supposed to be worse, actually, at yeah. that particular age. Yeah. Uh, especially yeah, to their mums. You discover things, don't you? And you just mm. think you know it all. Yeah, and you think your parents are pathetic. Yeah. And all the rest of it. Embarrassing. Horrendous. But, I mean, Hannah doesn't think that at all. She... She, gets, she has a good relationship with her mother, a healthy mm. relationship, where they can talk about things. And in real life, you've got a good relationship with Linda Bellingham, yeah, haven't you? Yeah. Who's loved, she's, she's so nice. My big sister. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she is. So you left, you left school at 15, didn't you? Yeah. Now, yeah. was that, was that the, the, the stage school you were at, the Italia Conti? That's right, yeah. So I don't think you were allowed to leave school at 15. I thought you had to stay Well, school. yeah, you're not. I mean, I said that I was going to get um, private tutors um, mm. and carry on with my studies. I, I felt I'd learnt all I could... Um, in a vocational sense, not in an academic sense, and I was I was playing truant, and I was wasting mm. my parents' money basically, mm. and I felt guilty, and I told my mum that I wasn't going to school. You know, she said to me, "How's school today?" And I said, "Well, actually, I didn't go." Um, mm. And my parents were very good, and they said, "Well, let's take you out and you know start going to lessons of your own, dance yeah. lessons, and just move on." And and what happened is I I joined an agency when I left, and I started getting work. So oh, straight away. Yeah. On the yeah, strength of being at the Italia Conti, or...? Um, I yeah, and I or? had my uh, ch children's equity, child's equity, so I... You, you know, could work, I, yeah, yeah, you're available. Work. I had a bit of experience. What was it like at drama school? Was it, I mean... Stage, stage school. Stage school, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Oh, well, but what's the difference, then? Uh, 
what what drama school you go there from 18? And I wouldn't know because I haven't been to drama school. But right. this was, uh, it's kind of all round entertainment. Who it's thing, singing, singing, dancing. Yeah. They can do everything kind of thing. And yeah. it, you know, they, they have, you know, they break you down to build you up and, they, you know, they, they give you a great amount of confidence, but they also try, do try and conform you into this kind of all round entertainer, which I wasn't interested in. I, I was being moulded. I could feel that happening, and yeah. I, I just you didn't, didn't want, want to know. No. Yeah. Did you? I mean, if if you have a if you ever have a daughter, w w would you send her to a school like that? If she wanted to go, yeah. I mean, I don't regret going. I had a fantastic time, and I did learn a lot, mm. um, just on a professional basis, just as far as discipline and mm. things like that. You know. I, I mean, but but are you surrounded, given that it is a stage by sort of towering egos, you know, little sort of yeah. Um, flourishing, yeah, yeah. Uh, more so from the teachers, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the teachers? I mean, I'm not casting any aspersions here, but I mean, certainly when I was on block release to go to journalist college, you know, for two months of every working year that I was on my local paper as a cub reporter, and we used to very unfairly, when we didn't like a mark we'd been given, say, well, if you, to the teachers, we'd say, well, if you could do it, you'd be out there as a journalist, you yeah, wouldn't be teaching. exactly. Did you used to have the same sort of prejudice? I did have those feelings, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you know, what can you do? You did feel bitterness from some teachers, but then other teachers are going to kill me. <laughs> if they're watching well, everyone it. talks about this. Very <laughs> well, you're allowed to. You're very, few, very few people have an unmixed experience at school. I mean, mm. there, there are things that you sort of looking back appreciate why why they did it, but you didn't enjoy it at the time. And there are other things which you'll never really forgive. You yeah, know? it's yeah, what happens absolutely. at schools, not not just that one. Mm. I was just wondering because you know, little girls are so. I mean, as we've only got to go, and our, our little girl was at a school disco on, on um, Saturday night, sort of fireworks disco. And when you see them all there, you know, 9, 10, 11, all sort of dancing about, and they obviously do really like modelling themselves, performing oh, yeah. and modelling themselves yeah. on things like Oh, yeah, the there were 300 Spice Girls, girls in that, in that in hall. That, oh, they're all, oh, yeah, God. They're all, all aged about, all aged about <laughs> 10. And I just wondered if, if when you're at stage school, if, if all the girls are like that, I mean... They do, do kind of knock it out of you. I mean, yeah. I went at the age of 10, and they, they do say, um, you know, you're, you're nothing special. There are thousands of kids out there who could replace you tomorrow. Oh, right. So, you, you, so in a sense, you think, oh, God, I, I'm useless. Mm. But then in another sense, when, when you're in a class, they're saying to you, yes, that's brilliant what you're doing. You know, carry, yeah. carry on, yeah. you're talented. Yeah. But um, so they, there's egos, but you, that all goes on in the dressing room, changing mm. rooms, you know. Mm. It's, Mm. But it, the thing is, it's not true that anybody can be, re be replaced. I mean, I, I don't see how you could be replaced in Abfab, for example. I don't see how Joanna Lumley could be replaced in Abfab or, 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 or Jennifer Snow. I just don't see how it could happen. Mm. You know, so, I mean... Mm. Well, I suppose they've got to get you used to the, the basic insecurity of your, exactly. of your profession. Exactly, and there's competition, and yeah. there's someone out there who, all right, might not do the job as well or the same as you, but will do it. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> and rejection's a way of life, yeah, really, and, and you've absolutely. got to have, be quite tough to, to withstand it. Mm. Well, look, obviously you're not having much rejection at the moment. Well, what, what are you doing next? I'm going to India. Oh, <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> just, just have a good time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've great. done my year's work, so I've yeah. three months in India. Oh, oh great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you, lucky you. Go, where are you going? Boyfriend? Sort of, you know, yeah, people, with a friend. friend, yeah. Great. Well, have a good time. Thank you. Stay safe. Take all the pills you need. And everything. Yes, you know, I will. Right, have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming in. You're looking very you. brown, actually. Have you been away? I just had not No, no. Did you ask about that? No, it's makeup. Oh, fine, thank you. You shouldn't be wearing so much makeup, <laughs> I know, especially okay. this time. <laughs> We're going to take another break here.